Don't leave anybody out. So it is so good to see you. I tell you what, we've had a great time this week with Vacation Bible School. And kids, if you've had a if you've had a really good time uh, this week, can you say yes? Yes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That wasn't that wasn't very convincing. Let's do it one more time. Have you had a good time this week at VBS? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Uh, we want to welcome all of you, and we're looking forward to our program tonight. Uh, the kids have done a great job this week in preparing for this, and appreciate all those who've helped out this week, uh, and we appreciate that so much. We want to we go to the Lord in prayer and ask His blessings on our time together this evening uh, as the kids do their performance, as we worship the Lord, as we give Him thanks. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. The Bible says it's a day that you have made, and we are rejoicing and we're glad in it. And Lord, we pray tonight for all the young people, all the children that will be participating in the program. Lord, we ask that you would just bless them, and Lord, help them to be a blessing to us, and Lord, most of all, a blessing to you. Lord, we thank you for all that's been going on this week. God, what a wonderful time that we've had around the Word of God and doing the games and the food and all the things that have gone on. But the most important thing is we've learned about Jesus, and we thank you for that. Lord, we ask your blessings on this service tonight, and on the children, and the parents, and all those who are here. Lord, would you just add an extra blessing to each one and each family. Lord, as we turn this over to Carrie Jo, we thank you, we bless your name, and we ask your blessings now in our time together. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Just a brother Dwayne said, we've had a great BBS this week. Um, every night, we ran about 70 children. And so, um, so thank you so much for parents, for bringing their children out, and letting us teach them about um, God's love this week. Thank you also to all of our volunteers um, that helped out throughout the week, whether you were a crew leader or helping in the kitchen or helping in games or crafts and missions. Um, we appreciate your time and everything that you've done this week. Um, we're going to begin tonight with our pledges. That's how we've started every night at BBS. And so I need three volunteers. Let's see. Um, Will you do the Christian flag? Thank you, Megan. No. Um, Jada, come on up. I need a boy. Yeah. 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 This, this, is, this has been conflict all week. Jada, come on up. And let's see. David. Oh, I think I chose David earlier in the week, too. David, come on up. You can do the Bible. We're going to start off with the Christian flag. If you will stand with us. Hand over our hearts. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for redeeming my sins. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. And now the Bible. distracted from God, and we don't um, take the time to recognize what He's done for us. We take Him for granted a lot of times. So, um, just like we've encouraged our children to do, we encourage all of us um, to watch for God in our daily lives and, and to give Him the praise and the thanks that He deserves. Um, other things that we have done this week, we've taken up an offering every night, and we're going to do that in just a moment. Um, our offering this 
this week is going to go towards translating the Bible in other languages so that we can send Bibles to other places like Thailand um, and so that the people there can read God's Word in their language and understand His Word and the Gospel. So um, we're going to watch a quick slideshow and we are going to take up an offering right now. Seth and Lane and Bryce and Gavin, will y'all come on up? Seth's going to lead us in a word of prayer for our offering tonight and in the purpose for it. Dear God, thank you for this day. I ask that you help this offering, Lord. I ask that you help people to give, Lord. Help them to give for your cause, Lord. So people who don't have Bibles can have Bibles, Lord. That's the one thing we probably take for granted the most. We always have a Bible when we come to church. We leave it places, and sometimes we can't find it. I ask that you bless this offering. Help us have a good night tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Enjoy the slideshow.
Okay, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jennifer, and I got the um, the beauty of the week. I got to be with the preschoolers, and we had a blast. Um, Taylor Sintonine was with me every single night, and um, Valerie was with us. Colette helped out. Miss Rachel helped out. So just a big thank you to everybody who helped us to um, get through the week. We had a great time. Did y'all have a good time? Yes. 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 Thank you. But they're going to say their Bible verse from this week.
central part of our faith, the cross. So what I had the students do is uh, carry the cross a certain distance into the classroom so they could get kind of a feel for the suffering that our Savior endured 
uh, when he was crucified. And we brought the class into the classroom and we talked about the process of crucifixion. And we got nails out and we nailed the nails into the cross and talked about how it was Jesus who had to take on our sin on the cross in order for us to be saved. Then we talked a little bit about sinning and how it was necessary for God to serve as that sacrifice, as that propitiation for our sins. And it was only Jesus Christ who could satisfy the penalty for our sin. And when the students came away from that, I had them write down at least one sin that they had, we didn't look, and I had them put them in a bag, and we took that bag and we nailed those sins to the cross, just as Jesus was uh, nailed to the cross, so we can too have forgiveness of our sins. I believe the students got it, and I thank God that they got it.
is that is the story of the gospel. The Bible says in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is the awesome, wonderful story of what Jesus did for us. You know, I thought about we were going through the vacation Bible school this week, I thought brought me brought my mind back to the book of Genesis where God created everything perfect. God created everything just the way he wanted to create it, and we messed it all up. We really did. But yet, even though we had sinned against God, the Bible talks about the fact that God himself gave himself as the lamb to take away the sin of the world. You know, I don't know where you guys are at tonight, uh, whether you be one of the students, uh, one of the children that were here this, this week, or whether you're a mom or a dad or a grandparent, but there's one thing that we want you to take away from this tonight is that if you don't know Jesus, we want you to be saved. You know, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. And so you may be wondering, man, what's life all about? You may be struggling with faith yourself, but know this, that Jesus loved you enough to die for you on Calvary's cross. He loved you enough to take your sin and my sin and nail it to the cross. And I, I hope and trust that if you have not made a decision to trust Christ as your Savior, uh, that you will do that, even today. And if you need to talk to myself or to anyone uh, of the church that you would like for us to show you from the Bible how you can be saved, how you can know for sure that you have eternal life, we would love to do that for you. Um, and so I just want you to think about where you are with the Lord tonight. Do you know Him? Do you know Him as your personal Savior? You know, that is what Oakwood Church is all about. It's about people coming to know Jesus Christ. And, uh, and we want to encourage you tonight. We're not going to give an invitation like we do during services or anything like that. But if you would like to talk to me anytime after we're done here and we're heading over, uh, just come up and say, Brother Wayne, I'd like to talk to you a minute. Um, and I can pray with you and help you know for sure where you're going, whether you're going to heaven or not before you leave this place tonight, okay? All right. I'll tell you what, didn't they do a great job tonight? Wonderful job. I would like to recognize uh, all of our workers. Some of them were up here, some of them were not. But if you help with Vacation Bible School this week, would you guys please stand? If you help any form or fashion with Vacation Bible School this week, please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Are you guys I'll tell you what, as I, I watched, you know, normally I'm kind of involved in a lot of different things at the church. Uh, and I kind of floated around from classroom to classroom, and I filled in here and there during the week. But I really didn't have a whole lot of responsibility, which is very rare for me. And I really enjoy getting to spend time with your kids. And let me tell you, we love them. And we do not take it for granted that you allowed them to be here this week. And we want you to know it's been an honor to have them. And we love them. We care about them. And uh, if you guys do not have a home church, we want to rec recommend the only, the best one. Not the only one, but the best one we know. And that is right here at Oakwood Church. If you do not have a regular church that you go to, don't want to take anybody away from a church. But if you don't have a regular church to attend, please consider Oakwood Church your church, okay? That's what we want. I tell you, I've been here almost six years. And I can honestly say, this is the best church that I know of anywhere. Uh, I've been involved in a lot of different ministries, a lot of different churches, but there's something special about this place. And, uh, and those who go here will tell you the same thing. So, but we are so glad that you're here tonight, and uh, we're going to go ahead and have a word of prayer. But before we finish, Carrie Jo has got something that she wants to tell you. Um, this week, we had a goal of 30 Bibles. And then, before you knew it, we had doubled that. And then... By tonight, we have quadrupled that, so we will be able to um, we will be able to send 123 enough money for 123 Bibles to be translated in other languages, so that they. All right, that is awesome. I'll tell you what, folks, that is just tremendous. To go from thinking about 30 Bibles to 123, <coughs> that is amazing. Uh, these are Bibles that people people don't have those Bibles, and we'll be able to put those Bibles into those hands. So we praise the Lord for that. How good is God? He is so great, and we thank Him tonight for that. Thank you for giving and for your kids giving uh, very much. And so, all right, well, I'll tell you what.
uh, we've got some food next door. Uh, somebody cooked all day long, and we've got hot dogs and some other things over there, and we want you folks to please stay and eat with us. And uh, but before we pray, or as we pray, we're going to ask God to bless uh, the food as we partake next door, okay? All right. Brian Randall, uh, he's one of our deacons here at church. I'm going to ask Brian if you would to lead us in prayer and ask the blessing on the food. Dear Lord, thank you for this time. Food is prepared, Lord, and time that you give us to come together and fellowship together, Lord. We know that you're, you're good, and, and we just thank you for this uh, vacation Bible school, and we just hope your folks were changed, and, and your relationship with you was strengthened this week, Lord. We just ask that you would be with this food and help to nourish our bodies. Amen. You guys are just going to stay the door. I have to grab that one.